lips look a hot mess. I have a little eyelash or something. It's gonna be so weird because my lips are bigger now. <laughs> All right guys, so today's video is going to be my October favorites. So this is everything I was living throughout October. I created this look using the products and just showing you the products in action, except for a couple that I couldn't really show you in action. I love the look I created. I think it's so much fun. But before I get into it though, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah, I would also love for you to check me out on Instagram or show me some love there. And yeah, I haven't really been posting on Instagram much since 31 days of Halloween because the hashtags are broken in the US. It just head over there. I'll be back posting soon i promise and yeah let's get into this october favorites all right so before i get into it i do need to say that i just got my lips done so they are bruising i used a different filler i did um see a new doctor and i liked him a lot a lot like this is the first time i ever got my lip filler done by a doctor not a nurse and i really liked him a lot but he used like a new product not a new on the market product but like a new product in general and he thought i was getting an allergic reaction but i don't think i was i think i'm just very very sensitive and i'm bruising like a lot like it's just the way it is my lips are so 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 dry but it's okay because i have a lifesaver product this is from elf this is the elf writer dye lip balm and this is in the mighty mint flavor i guess and this is like the clear one so they have a bunch of different color options of different flavors i prefer just a clear and i just use this every single morning as well as in the evening and i've been loving this so much it is very thick which means it's very moisturizing. It has helped my lips so much. I got these done two days ago now and they look worse today than they did yesterday because I'm healing, I guess, and they're just so, so dry. And this is only five bucks, so recommend these. I'm also a little swollen, so just ignore my lips, all right? I did get some Botox in my forehead and I always get Botox in my jaw because that's, I have TMJ. I wanna be like really real and upfront with everybody. Just talk about everything that I'm getting done. So I wanted to sit down and film this video. I'm gonna have a couple of videos that are gonna go up with my lips like this. It's just the way it's gonna go. Also, I gotta dye my hair. If you can see my grays, don't come at me because I just have that issue, all right? I'm gonna dye my hair after I'm done with this video. But yeah, my eyebrows are already done because I have no new eyebrow products. I have been loving the Glossier Brow Flick and the Boy Brow. And I also use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in black to make them a little darker. I definitely wanna purchase the Glossier in black. We'll see, I just love that stuff. My eyebrow products haven't changed. I also primed my lids with the P. Louise base and I also <laughs> cleaned up my brows with the Benefit Foundation Stick. Nothing has changed from like the last couple of months so i didn't want to redo that because i've been doing my whole entire brow routine for the last few videos so moving on to the eyes i have some elf bite size eyeshadow palettes i actually have not used the one i'm going to use today but i just i work i can't recommend these enough i think they're such a great idea you get like a whole color story in each one they're three dollars each they're so affordable and the best part is the quality it's insane i did use this one in my testing new drugstore makeup which hasn't gone up yet and unfortunately it's going to go up after this video because i want to get this video up as soon as possible let me get my hair out of my face before where I forget. This color story is probably my favorite because I just love the warm olive tones for fall. It's just like my absolute favorite like color story like ever. This was the first one that I bought and then I, I just wanted to buy another one to have like as a neutral everyday palette. So I'm gonna be using the palette called Cream and Sugar. I just think that this is also like perfect for every day. I do think that there's like more of a medium tone brown missing. Like I could do without one of these two and have a nice medium tone brown, but it's okay. We're gonna try to see how this works. I wanna buy like a bunch of these and do like a palette bingo with them. I think that would be a lot of Fun. I'm gonna start off with this shade over here. This is the lightest shade. It's probably too late to be a trans transition shade, but we're gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna take my Time LA. This is the number 206 brush. It's nice and fluffy. It is definitely really light. Holy crap. Is there even a point in putting this on at all? What I might have to do is blend this over top of the darker shade. This just is not showing up at all. What's great about these though is that you can mix and match from all the other palettes. They're only $3 each, so if you see oh, a shade that you like from another palette, you can just purchase that one and it won't really hurt your bank account count and just mix and match you know i definitely want to check out their cheek ones too like the cheek ones look really cute they have a blush and a highlighter duo i just think elf is like such a great drugstore brand this is also going to be in my favorites and this is the elf j kissa j4 brush i really like this brush i like the brush set but this one in particular is great for packing on color in the crease so i'm just going to take the darker shade and i'm just going to pack that on in the outer corner and bring that into the crease i might have to blend out using this shade and that's how i'm going to be able to use that shade you know so 
so I'm just packing on this color and blending it out. Now that that's on, I'm gonna take a little bit of the lighter shade and see if it blends. It helps blend out the outer edges, just making it more diffused. I think it does help. Now I'm gonna cut my crease with the P. Louise base and some concealer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 18 brush. For the lids, I'm gonna be taking the darker shimmer shade because I sw just swatched this one. It's right here and it's perfect for like the inner corner. I do not need a setting spray for this. This is so freaking pigmented. It's so gorgeous. Also, I love this brush. This is from the BH Nazanin Kavari set. This is the number seven brush. Love it. So pretty. Now I'm just blending a little bit more of the darker brown shade into the lid so there's like not a harsh line there and they're nice and blended out. I absolutely love the formula of this one as well. I had no issues blending. It's such a great, very wearable everyday palette. You can't beat it for the price. But like I said, I wish there was a medium tone or like brown shade in there, but it's okay. Now let's move on to the face. I don't have a new face primer. Probably never will. So I'm gonna be using my Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas. I've had this for such a long time and it is pricey, but, but like I said, I've had it for such a long time. It's still going strong. Like honestly, it's amazing. I do have a new foundation favorite. This is one that I've been using a lot in my Halloween looks. I recently rediscovered this and I actually did use it in my testing new makeup video as well, which isn't up yet, but it'll be up soon, I promise. But this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I love this. This is in the shade of 420. I think it's a little light on me. I've also been really loving this brush. This is from It Cosmetics. This is the Love is the Foundation brush. I'm not sure you can still get this, but you can get it at Ulta. I don't know if it was limited edition for October. It was for breast cancer awareness. I believe that some of the proceeds go towards some, a breast cancer, some sort of research foundation or whatever, but it's such a great, great foundation brush. Kathleen always recommends it and I finally like budged and I bought it this year because I definitely needed it. This foundation, the only thing I hate about it is the smell. It smells like chemical. Obviously that's not a scent you want on your face all day. It does go away, which is amazing. I hate the fact that at first, when you first apply it, you're like, what is this disgusting mess? At least on my skin, I have dry skin. This is a very matte foundation. I love that it is medium to full coverage buildable. Like you can build it up and it won't look cakey. It is amazing. I used to hate this foundation. I've actually, a lot of my friends have hated this foundation to the point where they returned it and just never used it again. I actually decluttered mine. I gave it to somebody, I think. I did own it when it first like was released, whenever that was. I don't even remember when that was. I did not get along with it whatsoever. I did not like it at all but i think my skin is different i think my skin has changed since i moved to virginia so my skin likes it now i think i'm a little more normal instead of dry but i do have my dry patches but it doesn't ever look cakey on me which is amazing i actually do have a new favorite concealer this is from makeup revolution they were kind enough to send me like a huge pr package this is the conceal and define infinite concealer i'm not sure exactly what the difference is between this and the original which i really really love it's like definitely in my top favorite drugstore concealers it's amazing and the foundation is also one of my favorites but there's no infinite foundation so i don't know i'm really not sure exactly what the difference is but this concealer is absolutely amazing this is the shade c 3.5 it is definitely full coverage but it's creaseless and it has like a nice natural finish it's not like too matte or too dewy or anything i've also been loving the elf Flawless concealer brush. This is great. I've been looking for a concealer brush for so long. This is amazing. Look no further if you've been looking for one. Honestly, I absolutely love it. I do like to buff it in with this and then I go over it with the foundation brush that I was just using. This concealer has been great. It's definitely really full coverage. Like it covers all of my under eye bags and discoloration and all that. So now that that's all blended in, I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and just kind of go over the areas like right in the middle so that it doesn't look like such a harsh line. I love this stuff so much oh my gosh it looks so good today all right before i go in with powder which i don't have a new favorite and it's always going to be the charlotte tilbury powder but i did want to just like go in with this cream bronzer which is not by any means new to me or actually it's been in my favorites before so technically not in my favorites but i did want to talk to you about this nazanin kavari bh cosmetics this is the number two brush this is actually like i think meant for foundation but i really really like to use this with cream products like cream blush or cream bronzer to be honest i don't remember if i use this for a halloween look and it has like a random color on it. It kind of looks like it does, but we'll see. I like taking it like this and then just kind of patting it in. Sometimes I even use this brush, which I also really love. This is the number one brush, but actually I'm gonna use that for the other bronzer, the powder bronzer I'm gonna put on top like in a second. But I like, this is like a great stippling brush kind of thing. It's not really a stippling brush, but it's really good for like just putting the product, the cream product on and blending it out. I love this, by the way. If you're looking for a cream bronzer, look no further. This is amazing. It's been in my favorites before. I absolutely love it. It blends out like a dream. And over top of 
love that. I have been loving using the Patrick Ta She's So LA Cream Blush. Well, this is like the, du the duo. And I actually, I'm going to use both of these today. I actually love both of them. But I want to use the cream one first, obviously. This is amazing. I did recommend this in my Sephora recommendations. It just hasn't been in my favorites for some reason. I don't know. I just didn't use it as much in September, I guess. But I did use it a ton in October. I've been loving cream products. I don't know, more than even in the summer, I feel like. This is so pretty. I'm using the same brush, to be honest, to just put that over top and it looks beautiful on the skin i love it and of course to set my concealer i have to go in with my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish micro setting powder and i love i have been using this like crazy this is the nazanin bh number four brush this is perfect it gets the perfect angle for right under the eyes i have been using this like non-stop i used to use one from morphe and it's okay but like this is like it really does a great job of setting right under the eyes but i just like to set my concealer with this and this is something i learned from patrick ta and by the way i'm gonna do a whole dedicated video on this because i did attend his master class and it was a zoom master class but it was so informative i learned so much but i am actually going to take some of the fenty beauty um pro filter setting powder this is in the shade butter not the translucent i don't recommend using the translucent for what i'm about to do and just kind of go underneath right here to highlight under the contour and just chisel it out i love doing this if you have oily skin i recommend doing this under the eyes as well i don't like to bake under the eyes anymore it just looks too heavy on me because i'm so dry and then I also like to do the same thing on the bridge, like the sides of my nose, just to make it really snatched. I get slightly oily on my nose sometimes, so it's pretty good to bake like down the bridge of my nose for me, so my concealer like doesn't move. I just think that that really helps snatch the contour really, really nicely. The bronzer I've been loving this past month is from Ilia. This is the Drawn In Nightlight bronzing powder i really like this a lot but this is really warm tone so this is definitely a bronzer it's not really to contour i love using this brush like i said this is the bh number one brush it's like really nice and fluffy and it just makes you look overall like really nice and bronze and glowy and i love it so i just take that pretty much everywhere i took the contour and just to overall bronze my skin i also bought this on kathleen's recommendation by the way and then i'm just gonna take a little bit of the patrick top powder blush with this is the number three brush which i really like as well going over the cream products powder definitely ties everything together i really like this brush because it's really nice and fluffy it's not as like dense as some other brushes that i have that i use for blush so it makes it really nice and like i don't know airbrushed look looking i don't know my lips look a hot mess all right i also have a new setting spray favorite this is from charlotte tilbury this is pricey as heck but i got the small one because i i don't know i just really wanted to try it i heard great things about it i did explain in my last video where i did recommend this in my sephora vib sale recommendations that Michaela Beauty, I think that's her name on TikTok, she did a whole video where she did a lot of makeup swatches, like eyeshadow swatches on her hand. She sprayed this over that and she tried to wipe it off and it didn't come off. So many people have been trying this. They've even tried it with other setting sprays and it doesn't work as well. This makes your makeup look flawless, airbrushed, but it also lasts all day. Like it literally will not come off your face. Like I promise you, it won't come off your face. I have a little eyelash or something. I love it. It has a little scent, which is the only thing I really don't like about it. I don't like anything with scents. I just, I'm really picky about that. It makes everything like super snatched, even though my makeup looks pretty snatched right now. Just watch. Oh, it really has like a strong, it's almost like a jasmine scent and I really hate that smell, honestly. But seriously, snatched. Obsessed. Definitely gonna buy the full size when I run out of this one. Like, I love it. And I'm true to my Urban Decay All Nighter, don't get me wrong. I love that stuff, but this is amazing and I would pay for that. Also, the sprayer is amazing. It's not too finely mist, like, like that Fenty Beauty setting spray. I love it, but sometimes it's so fine that I can't tell if I got any on my face. But yeah, before this really, really dries, which it pretty much has, I want to go in with highlighter and I've been loving this one from Nabla. This is the... Nabla Skin Glazing in the shade Ozone. It is so pretty. Look at this. It's stunning. So it is definitely not like a super bam in your face highlight. So if you like that, you'll love this, which is technically like starting to become more the style, which I'm sad about that because I love a good blinding highlight, but this is definitely more of a natural highlight. I've been using this like crazy. I love taking my motor brush with this mostly. To be honest, I'm not sure what the number or name of this brush is. I got it in a boxy charm, but I love this brush for highlighters like this where it's not too pigmented because it actually may helps it become a little bit more pigmented. Like I'll use this with my super super shock highlighters from ColourPop because it's like kind of like that putty feeling. That's kind of how this feels. It's like a baked highlighter. But this is so stunning. It just gives you an overall like nice glow, but it's not too bam in your face. It just makes you look like wet. 
and it blends so nicely and it just looks really pretty it complements like the other cheek products that i use i don't know i love this stuff totally forgot to do my lower lash line so let's do that now real quick i'm gonna take the same shades i took in the crease leave the only shade that that shows up which is the dark one so i'm just gonna take it on the same brush and everything just smoke out the lower lash line and i'm actually just gonna take the same lid brush that i used just to take this one in the inner corner because that one seems really nice that is gorgeous i love the shimmer shades i think they're so great quality for the price this, this palette it's definitely worth it i want to get them all to be honest like i would spend the money on getting them all so i don't really have a new lip favorite but i just have been loving this combo this is the pat mcgrath lip liner in the shade contour this was in my monthly favorites like for five months in a row like i swear but i've been loving combining a bunch of lip liners it's gonna be so weird because my lips are bigger now this is my first time putting on lip product after treatment <laughs> Then I like going in with the NYX Nude Truffle on the outer, outer parts. And because this is darker, it'll just give it more dimension. I'm gonna fill it in with the Pat McGrath lip liner. <laughs> They're so dry though. I'm so sorry that you're not gonna get an accurate representation of what this actually looks like because my lips are so freaking dry. But as you can see, that that's like that ombre effect that I really like. Sometimes I'll leave it like this matte, but today I cannot. So I'm gonna go in with another favorite of mine. This is the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine Wet look lip gloss i love this stuff it's such a great lip gloss i think everyone needs like a clear lip gloss in their collection just to have it in case for moments like this when you really need that shine i love this and i'm actually just gonna tap it on the center with the wand real quick and just use my finger and i love the smell it does have a smell i don't really mind it it's a really nice sweet smell and i love this combo so much see how juicy my lips look for mascara, I actually do have a new favorite. This is from Makeup Revolution. They also sent this over to me. This is the Revolution The Mascara. That's what it's called. I am going to put lashes on today. But I like putting on mascara first. Let me know in the comments. Do you put on mascara first before lashes? Or do you do it after? Because I know some people like to do it after. I feel like I mess up lashes that way. So I definitely don't do it that way. The only thing about this wand, by the way, is that it's really hard for lower lash line. So I definitely would be careful with that. I prefer my Lash Princess from Essence for that. But we're just gonna use this today it really does volumize because of the wand for lashes today i have the tati lashes in the style badass these are my favorite they did send me over a pr package last month and i was so honored to get one from them i'm looking at my lips and they look so good now that like they actually have product on them and they're filled like they, the lip filler looks good right i don't want them to deflate too much i have to get a whole other syringe done anyway so these are the style badass if you could see they are really really nice and i like that they get wider at the end so they, it's a nice like gradient if that makes sense i really like the quality of their lashes i think they're very good and they also come with lash glue which is amazing this is what they look like and i'm gonna go put them on off camera and i'll be right back back and the lashes are on and i love these so much they just like complement my eye shape a lot they just look good with any look i've been using this like crazy i've used these like maybe six or seven times and they're still good they're still going strong and yeah all right let me take this off because this is the final look i really have to dye my hair i do have a few more things i want to talk about to you guys though let me find them <laughs> yeah i have two skincare products to talk to you guys about and the first is a cleansing balm this is from vanilla co i think that's how you say it but i think they're a newer company around but i have been on the hunt for a cleansing balm that has no polyethylene that's more affordable that's not the clinic take the day off because it has polyethylene polyethylene is very very bad for the environment it's bad to go down the drains when you're washing off your makeup. It's bad to go into the oceans with all the fishies in the sea. So don't use cleansing balms with polyethylene. They need to start formulating cleansing balms without polyethylene. It's very difficult. It's more easy to find a cleansing oil without polyethylene than it is a cleansing balm without polyethylene. But this one doesn't have polyethylene. They have several options, but this is the only one I tried. I think this is the original. Yeah, it says original on the packaging. It's the pink packaging, but they have like yellow, blue, purple. I think they have a bunch of options. I think they might just be scented. I'm not sure. But I I did already order a new one because I'm out of this stuff and I love this it's I think $19 which is quite more affordable than other cleansing balms I've tried I actually ordered a new one from Sephora and I can't wait to try that one out I love that it comes with a little tiny little spatula so you can scoop it out I'm really almost out of this stuff I'm probably gonna finish it today when I take off my makeup today but I love using the cleansing balms oh I did want to mention I'm not gonna go get them but they're over there I have been using these little microfiber towels from Amazon I'll link them down below because they're really really good this is like 
like the best way to take off your really heavy makeup instead of using for the love of god please don't use makeup removing wipes because it does it's really bad for the environment as well so that's why i use a cleansing balm i highly recommend this cleansing balm it's really good it makes my face feel really really soft and moisturized after i use it and it really does deep clean and take off everything really really well i do sometimes go in with my eye for my eyeshadow i do use an oil-based makeup remover just to help take it off but even just using this alone it really takes everything off and i don't even have to scrub that much but using the towels with this helps a lot and i love those towels it's a pack of four for ten dollars on amazon i'll have it linked down below like i said amazing quality i love those towels and i love using it in conjunction conjunction with this this is probably the best cleansing balm i have found since the then i met you one which i started using in january when hiram recommended it i think i like that one a little bit more still but it's really like a lot more pricey and they only they're only sold on their website so you have to pay for shipping <laughs> this is sold at ulta so i like that a lot and yeah i definitely recommend this and the last item that has been my favorite for the last month this is the murad rapid age spot and pigment lightening serum so i went on instagram stories when i bought this because i i actually bought this at tj maxx and it was i think nine dollars and it was off of like 56 or 60 i don't remember how much but it was significantly less this stuff is great i i did mention in my instagram stories when i was showing like i did like a little haul a little tj maxx haul in my stories by the way follow me on instagram if you haven't already and check me check out my stories because i do lots of fun things on my stories lately anyway i have this little sunspot up here on my forehead and it's pissing me off it's making me so angry i'm like how could i do this to myself wear your spf people and that won't happen to you trust me i learned the hard way so i've been using that every single night on on that and this is amazing i honestly don't know if they sell this at sephora anymore i have to google it see where you can purchase this but i did buy this at tj maxx so definitely check out your local tj maxx or marshall's and you might find it there and it's going to be obviously cheaper than buying it at sephora or from the murad website i just use it on the little spot that i have on my forehead i wouldn't use this everywhere and it's definitely going to lighten it has worked so well i have used this for the last like month since i got it it really does work really well it has lightened my dark spot really significantly it's crazy and i definitely highly recommend this product if you are someone that has a few sunspots like i do or just dark spots in general it makes me sad but yeah that completes this video i really hope you enjoyed the little look i created with the products that i've been loving throughout october let me know what you've been loving throughout october and yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i also hope you'll consider subscribing and i will see you guys in my next video bye and I want to do like oh I want to do like a palette bingo I want to like I said I had it first I've had it for some Kathleen always they're like going over the powder uh the oh, I'm so sorry that you're not going to get an accurate um taper off at the end not taper off but you know